I would like to invite uh, Haranand Dadaji, please. Uh, yeah, Haranand Dadaji. Share yeah. your ideas, your views, please. Thank you. Please join in. Uh, you are muted, sir. Please unmute yourself. Yeah, am I audible now? Yeah, Dada. Thank you. I have been uh, listening very attentively to the uh, opinions of my esteemed speakers who have uh, spoken so far. Uh, in this, uh, in his discourse on progressive socialism, Baba says, and I'm quoting him: "In the mobility of the psychic world, there are certain defective thoughts prevailing. There are certain defective thoughts prevailing that we humans are destined to rule this earth. We humans are destined to rule this earth, and the creatures are destined to be ruled by us. Now, this this approach." To towards other creatures of nature, who are again creations of God, has led to a, a thinking which we can uh, and we can call anthropocentrism. That human beings are at the center of the whole cosmos. So uh, this has this has been explained in a different way by a French philosopher. Everybody knows the name of Foucault. So he says that four technologies. Have uh, been behind the whole human civilization. Uh, first is he says, technology of production, technology of production, which has uh, gradually brought science and uh, uh, technology uh, uh, science into the picture, and the growth of evolution of technologies. Then he talks of technology of uh, science systems, which uh, makes us understand science meaning symbols or signification. Then he talks of technologies uh, of power, technologies of power, and finally technologies of the self. So he says that technologies of the self have so far been ignored, you know. And then he goes on. Uh, there is a very uh, good discourse on the whole topic when he discusses uh, everybody, from um, uh, Plato to. <clears throat> you know all the other philosenica and all others and then he says that how uh, they try to focus on technology of the self you know they self evolution contemplation of the self correction of the self so once contemplation of the self takes place and as ready rather rightly pointed out that uh, the the core is the realization that every expression is an is a creation of the cosmic mind so if uh, vasudevam sarvamiti this thought of bhagavad gita is the root of this philosophy uh, which baba has used another term for it he says it is the cult of love it is the cult of love you once we start loving each and every creature who are also subhumans and even inanimate objects the whole biosphere the whole environment the whole ecology comes into picture so this has now baba explains it in a different context when he talks about theory of social dynamics he says we are in a phase of acute staticity this is the word he uses in a phase of acute staticity when we have we are here at the bottom of the mountain we don't have energy to again go uphill so he says this is the phase of assimilation and energy conservation and then we have to move ahead and then he says that there are certain stages of pauses systolic pauses in the in the evolution of history and society that it is not possible for human beings to have enough energy and momentum to move uphill again the uphill journey cannot start so there at that point he says the uh, the cosmic mind has to take a form tarak brahm has to come to push that uh, uh, staticity into dynamicity because he says ki dynamism is the first and last word of human existence i mean i'm quoting him so from to move out from this stage of acute staticity what we mean uh, is the indication of the today's uh, discussion that humanism is caught in a in a dark cesspool of staticity we are not able to move out like it is like we are caught in the quicksand we are caught in the swampy lands mm -hmm. 
because you know i was going through a very monumental book politics of nature by bruno latour it is on my table he says that the disconnect between science politics and nature let us understand the disconnect between science politics and nature has created total confusion we initially thought that we will control nature by developing science and technology but what ultimately has happened now science and technology has started controlling us this is a very unfortunate scenario when human beings are now getting dominated by chat gpt and other things where uh, an artificial intelligence when the offices will be taken over by ai bosses and everything will be in usa chat gpt started doing homework of children so they had to intervene so are we going to create an artificial intelligence uh, scenario where we are defunct totally defunct where, where technology is totally over, overtaken us so the real solution is self realization as uh, foka has pointed out contemplation of the self and realization of the self what buddha uh, said mindfulness we have to be conscious of the environment we have to be conscious of ourselves what we are and then the love emanates from that philosophy from that root of thinking so as uh, one didi was trying to explain at the outset uh, the reactive approach is not what new humanism is that we feel the pain that is you see something and then you react no it is a very positive approach of compassion love when you are you have a proactive vision of things you have a proactive uh, thinking to operate things like it's very good that the world is moving in that direction and the sustainable development goals of the united nations clearly have clearly identified uh, certain goals pertaining to preservation of nature and we also in india have uh, national missions of you know sustaining the himalayan ecology and so many other national missions are there but countries like bolivia bolivia have amended their constitution to give rights to mother earth they have given seven basic rights to mother earth right to exist right to you know uh, purity of air right to clean water so seven rights have been and those rights can be fought in the court of law so hmm. mother earth is now an entity in bolivian constitution so we have to move ahead from and we have to move out of this as vimlananda the rightly pointed out we have to move out of this anthropocentric thinking because we are caught in a cesspool we are caught at the bottom of the mountain we don't know how to go out like a person caught in a quicksand in a desert goes tries to move out he goes further deep into quicksand ultimately he loses his life and existence so somebody has to pull us out this ideology has to pull us out because after all a human life is an ideological flow so the basically the cult of love the realization that ev- that uh, everybody is a spark of the divine it is the at the root of humanistic uh, new humanistic philosophy and that precisely widens the whole whole gamut of thinking from anthropocentrism to the to universalism as baba has rightly said that new humanism will elevate humanism to universalism yeah. and when we talk of universe we include everything we include the entire cosmos not only this planet which is moving towards the ice age and he openly asks we are moving towards the ice age are you ready are you ready the poles are shifting the electromagnetic field of the earth will change which will change the whole psych- psychology of human beings and they will become spiritual and intuitional in nature the you know so he has clearly said we are moving towards the ice age and electromagnetic system of earth so changes are coming very rapidly as he has used this term changes are coming very rapidly and we have to get prepared for it we have to move out of this cesspool cesspool of humanism we are caught in that as uh, Uh, ready that the rightly pointed out when protagoras said that man is the measure of all things can we decide is there not an objective reality we can perceive the reality in a subjective way there but there is an objective reality we have to realize it so these were my few submissions